While Detroit isn't particularly known for its food, it is, however, the birthplace of the Coney Dog. This unique Detroit tradition got its name supposedly when Gus Kiros ran out of sauerkraut at his hot dog stand and he slathered down a ladle of meat chili instead. Though Michigan has many unique and beloved Coney Islands, none are as legendary as the Lafayette and American Coney Islands at the crossroads of Michigan Avenue and West Lafayette Boulevard in downtown Detroit. Both restaurants have stayed true to their history. Running and operating out of the same location for nearly a century, both places have become landmarks in the city of Detroit. It all started in 1903 when Constantine, or Gus Kiros, immigrated to America from a southern Grecian city called Dara. Kiros, like so many immigrants, came to America through Ellis Island and headed to Detroit in search of a job. Unable to find work, Kiros began shining shoes and selling hot dogs with chili on them out of a cart on the corner of Michigan Ave and Lafayette Boulevard. Gus Kiros' nickel coney dogs were such a success that he eventually brought over his brother Bill to America to help him. Both Coney Islands started off as tiny restaurants, but in 1968, Lafayette doubled its size by taking over the space behind it, gaining an entrance on Michigan Avenue. Similarly, in 1991, American knocked down a wall and expanded east into the former United Shirt Building. Lafayette Coney Island opened in 1923. Gus and Bill operated the Coney Island where American stands today. However, differences between the brothers caused them the split. In 1936, Gus launched his own restaurant, which became the American Coney Island next door. You wouldn't think that there'd be such a big difference between the two Coney dogs, but there actually is. The menu at both Coney Islands are pretty similar and center around the Coney dog. However, they also serve a loose hamburger, which is basically crumbled beef and a hot dog bun covered with the same condiments as the Coney Dog. But that's about where their similarities in the menu split. Though Coney Dogs remain king, American has also introduced other foods like the Euro sandwich and fried fish. American Coney Island tops their Coney Dogs with sweet Fidelia onions and a spicier chili. After finishing a Coney at American, I decided to head over to Lafayette to try one of theirs. Lafayette Coney Island keeps it simple, and its small black menu board on the wall hasn't changed in over a decade. Walking into Lafayette Coney Island is like going back in time, with its old-fashioned Formica counters, short stools, and tiled walls. Lafayette Coney Island tops their Coney Dogs with Spanish onions and a beefier chili. After trying a Coney Dog from both American and Lafayette Coney Island, it's tough to choose a winner. 
both places, buy their hot dogs from Dearborn Sausage and their buns from the Metropolitan Baking Company in Hamtramck. With both places using such similar ingredients, you wouldn't think that there'd be such of a difference. But you can definitely tell with the beefier chili at Lafayette and the spicier chili at American Coney Island. I came into this experiment with a slight bias because I've always been a Lafayette Coney Island fan myself. However, on this particular day, I did enjoy the American Coney Dog better than Lafayette. But when it comes down to it, it's not just about the Coney Dog, it's about the atmosphere. Both Coney Islands are similar in their menus, but are contrastingly different in their atmosphere. American Coney Island's spacious dining area gives for a more relaxed atmosphere compared to the Lafayette's hustle and bustle next door. So in the end, it's not really about which one you choose to eat at, it's about who you choose to eat it with. I mean, you can't go wrong at either place. They're both delicious. And if you end up not liking it, you can just walk next door and try the other one.